Oh wow, it's dark out here already. Yes, welcome to Betrayer. We're in the Forbidden Wilds. There's gunshots going on. Look at this map. Forbidden Wilds. Tell me that doesn't look inviting. See what you know. I must report to the Lord Governor. And you are? Clement Wright. James Michael sent you after his daughter, Alison. I remember seeing her flee into the woods. I went to go after her, but I was wounded. You look wounded, I mean. Or constipated. One of the two. Arrow coated in dried blood. Powder flask. Man killed by an arrow. Tell me, what happened here? Was a man possibly killed by an arrow? I suppose it is. I remember my legs suddenly giving way and remember the pain till I was found lying on the ground. Staring at a blood shaft that torn through my knee. I had to break it off and pull it out. Yes, and here's the powder flask from a man who died nearby. Remember Simon Holt pouring powder into the barrel of his musket. Reloading as fast as he could, he went stiff and fell sideways, an arrow was in his throat. Mmm, dark. Okay, I'm gonna have to go. Be back in a second. <laughs> Alright. Dealing with that minor interruption. What is... that is... yeah... Okay. I knew what that was. I wonder they got ambushed. All in that barrel out here. What? Hmm? Hmm. What could it mean? Oh! <gasps> Allison's been dead this whole time. What a twist! I mean, maybe. I don't know, I, I should be using the thing to... Tell me where I am. Where am I? I'm to the north. And... Exceptional Vigor. 20%. Amazing. That's you. Well then, tell me, what has happened? What happened with this scrap of red cloth? Did she run into the forest? With Indians chasing? Hmm, she yanked herself free. She kept running. I wanted to go after her, but I was wounded. I see. I must tell the Lord Governor, perhaps if I risk a while I can make default hope. You're dead, man, you're dead. You're dead, you're not gonna make it. Never. Let's go deeper into the haunted nightmare forest. Yeah. I'm going deeper, right? Yeah, I am. They told you not to come here. All the trees are dead. How could you not figure out the bad shit goes down? Oh. Yes, come and investigate. Huh. Huh. That was just pure skill. Not luck at all. Who said it was luck? They're a liar. Filthy, filthy liar. Oh my god, sad thing. Ah, oh, man. Oh, it's strong. Strong. Make it go away.
you, you merely have the face of a man. Possibly two heads. This thing. That's terrifying. Oh, that was good. That was better. Good and better. What else could it be? Where the hell is my last one? Ha <laughs> oh, ha. there it is. Excellent. Um, did I see a guy on the road? A guy to talk to? Oh, there you are. You are very... You don't want to talk to me. Wh why not? Come on then, you. Come on. Bam! Bam and bam. Speak to me. No? Anyone? What, do I have the plague? Do I have to wear this hat? <laughs> Why don't you love me? Do I smell bad? What do you have to say? Nothing. Excellent. At this point, would anyone actually be buying this junker? I mean, exceptional stuff. I've got awesome gear. I don't need to buy anything else. So why would anyone else? No? No one. No one wants to talk. Neighborly of you. Best weapons the game, and those things are too strong. Too strong. Not strong at all. Or maybe they are. Maybe they are strong. You don't know what it means. Ah! Man, hatchet, you're good. I need to use you first. Let's sneak because burning tree. It could only mean something good. Arrowhead worn his pendant. Oh, you wore a pendant. It had an arrowhead on it. When visible through the flames, strangely, there's no heat from the fire, but the stench is horrific. What the hell am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm gonna figure it out. Join me uh, there. Ah, we found her. And she was burning. And you remember, she was weeping smoke from empty eyes and flames from soon flesh. Her flesh blackening and cracking from the heat. Clement writes an arrow pinned your cloak to a tree as you fled the woods. I remember him calling Simon's name as we crept towards the foot and wild. I turned and saw three soldiers coming towards us. I knew my father had sent them to bring us back. I hissed at them to be silent, lest they reveal us to the Indians. Simon asked why they were carrying Indian weapons, and realized they didn't come to bring us back. It was Clement's arrow that pinned my cloak to the tree. It was my arrow that wounded him, and the others were all dead. So I left him there and went to find my sister. Is this her arrowhead pendant? Yes, she always wore it. Though she was careful to keep it hidden from her father, knowing he wouldn't approve. I found it near the burning woman. She wasn't burning when I found her. What happened? I remember staggering through the woods, faint from fear and grief, knowing she was near, for her sorrow called to me. I remember she stumbled and I stumbled and fell. I think I cried out and the ground was strewn with dead birds. 
I looked about me and beheld the rotten carcasses of rabbits and deer and other beasts of the wood. And then I saw an Indian child and her mother clinging to each other in death. Beyond them were more corpses, their flesh blackened, their eyes clouded, their faces twisted in fear. I forced myself to walk on despite my horror, picking my way amongst the dead, choking on the stench of corruption. I saw her at last down a pillar ahead of me. Someone hit Someone was bound to it, a woman. Her head lolled forward, her naked body stained with the blood that had spilled across her. I knew at once it was Tabitha. I stood before her, reeling, the ache of her despair, my own. I raised her face and saw her throat had been cut open. I looked around at the helpless creatures, beasts and birds, maiden, drawing an ache from her suffering and then a drowned bite. I could feel the darkness spreading out from her, feeding on the hope that swallowed up. I knew it would never stop, that it would only grow more ravenous. I wept for a long time, began to gather the branches and pile them at the base of the pillar. I said a prayer and lit the fire, feeding the clothing that had been stripped from her into the fire. Flames. As the flames rose up and consumed her, my prayers became pleas. As her flesh blackened and cracked from the heat and dark smoke, smoke streamed from her eyes. I begged her to find peace. I begged her to let go of her torment before it consumed us all. And I felt her anguish become anger. The ache of betrayal becoming the shrieking scorn and vengeance. The trees withered and all her fury turned, touch turned to cinders. The dead things and the living things were burned away. And those who had hurt her, those who had abandoned her, those who had loved her, all except me. I have a gift for you. Arrowhead Stores Pendant. Remind you of Tabitha's happiness. It's the most thoughtful of you. Arrow that wounded Clement Wright. I give it to you because. To remind you of your courage. I intended that you might have rinsed it first. <laughs> Indian headdress. To its owner or its family. Get around. I should leave it here in case they come and claim it. The scrap of clo cloth. My cloak. Because you want to patch the tear. already have, but it's thoughtful of you. Now what? Do I, do I go tell her father? Yo, your daughter's dead. It's your fault. You're a dick. I knew at once they had gone to the Forbidden Wilds, even though I forbade it. I sent those men to make sure they didn't return, for I feared what they might bring back with them. Did you fear they would bring back? The doom of our colony. Allison found Tabitha in the Forbidden Wilds. When Tabitha vanished, I rode into the woods to search for her. I found her on her way to their village. It did not take long to get the truth from her. She was naked and tied to a post. I stripped away her clothing so that the swell of her belly might be clearly observed child sowed by a savage. A savage she gave herself to willingly. You cut her throat? Yes. So the shame she had brought upon me might be ended. I left her there so the tribe would know we would kill our woman. That we would not let them be touched by savages. Not even our own daughters. God, you're like a huge dick. Bam. You suck. You're like the worst father ever, knob. Yo, your father killed your sister. He was a knob. I found that I was happier here than Fort Says Jaws. At least for a while. My father sent Clement Wright to kill you and Simon. But why? Why would my own father do such a thing? Claimed he feared you would bring back the doom of the colony. And perhaps he was right. Perhaps I did. What if this is all my fault? And your father killed Tabitha. I feared you would say that. I think I already knew it. I felt her dying. So much pain. So much fear. But she was so desperate to live. She was pregnant. Oh God. How could that be? She never told me. I suppose that's why she was crying. She didn't think I could understand. 
So she ran away, knowing that she couldn't stay here. That must be why father was so angry. Why he couldn't bring her home. He must have blamed ma mother. He must have told himself that it was her fault. That he had to kill Tabitha. I believe her torment is feeding off the fear and anguish of those who remain here. Freeing the wraiths you have met may help quell her wrath. Is there some way you can convince them to let go and com let go of what keeps them here? You must try. If you choose to go to her without releasing them, I expect you'll find it hard to reason with her. Alright, let's free some wraiths. Let's do that next time. Next time, yeah. Look forward to it.